Hi, here we are again to talk about JavaScript. And in this video, what I'd like to do is start working on making our page dynamic. So currently our page displays all of the shopping cart items here in the console, but what I'd like to do is display them up here in the browser, right? We can put the console away, okay? Right now the show items function um, prints things out to the console, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually print them into the body tag. So we'll need an element to, um, you know, as, as a place to place them, right? Or a place to put them. So I'm gonna use a UL. I figure if we list some shopping cart items, it'll be a list of items. So I'll use a, a, an unordered list, right? And I'll put a comment here where the dynamic items are gonna appear. It's important that we put this element above the script tag. So when the script runs here, this element should come first. So it should have been loaded. You know, the, the browser is essentially going to load all of the text this way. And these things will be loaded before the script down here runs. If the script was above the UL, it would run first and it wouldn't be able to see this because it hadn't loaded yet. Okay. Next, we need a way to reference this in code. So how does code, you know, find this particular UL on the page? And there's a few ways to do that. Um, the um, kind of a good one for a lot of cases is an ID. So an ID is a unique name, it has to be unique across your page, right? So only one element gets any particular ID name, right? And I'll call this one, how about, you know, item list, okay? And once we've given something an ID name, down in our script here, so we're back in JavaScript land, we can make a variable, um, I'll call this item list uppercase, right? And then I'll say document.getElementById, okay? So getElementById lets us access any element in the DOM by its ID name, okay? So I'll copy the name here and I'll paste it as a string in here. You know, ID names always have those hash marks in front of them in, in CSS. In JavaScript here, when we use get element by ID, you just use the ID name. You don't have to put the hash mark, okay? Okay, great. So if this worked, then we should have a reference to this um, element here, this UL. And then we will be able to do things like we can set the list items inside there. We could set a class name on here. We could remove it from the DOM. You know, we any, any control that the browser gives us over this UL, we can execute on this variable, right? Let's uh, test our work. So if I save this and I um, say console log item list, and then I go to my browser here and refresh it, you'll see that it prints the UL directly into, and you can see this came from line 19 right here, right? So that's where, where we printed it. And you can see it just gives me the UL with ID item list. And if I look in here, it's, you know, it just looks like it does in the DOM. So, you know, uh, this looks like it's working. Um, how do we actually put things into item list? Well, there's a few ways to do this. Um, the easiest, simplest way is to use inner HTML. And basically that lets you set the HTML that appears within the tag. So inner HTML would be here, right? Okay. And it'll replace everything that's there, but we only have a comment there, so it won't matter. So how do we use inner HTML? Let's give it a try. Let's give it a test right here. So we saw that, you know, we could see the list item there, but what if I did this? What if I said, you know, uh, item list, dot inner html equals and then we'll do uh, we'll just put one list item in there so i'll i'll write in an li tag here and i'll say you know hello world so if i if i write that in there and then i i refresh here you can see i get one list item that says hello world and if i go to the elements tab here open up the body tag, I'll see my UL with item list in it. And if I open that up, it has hello world in it. And you'll notice that the, the, the comment here, cart items is gone because inner HTML replaces everything here with what you have, you know, what you set, right? So what I'm setting here is replacing everything inside here. Okay, so let's apply that now to our current code that we have. I'm going to delete that 
And uh, then I'm going to go to the show items function here. And this um, says you have X quantity of items in your cart. I'll leave that alone. And this says what the total in the cart is. We'll use those later. But right here, okay, this is where we list each of the items in the cart. So instead of printing these to the console, what I want to do is I want to create an li tag like I did here a moment ago and for each cart item and then add all those items to the ul here okay the item list okay so i'm going to do it this way i'm going to actually start with a um let's call it item string okay so i'll start with an empty string right and when i'm done i'm going to build a list of uls in here and then at the very end I'll take this item string and assign it to item list dot um, inner HTML. Okay, so I'll take the item string and assign it here. So if I build an item string that has all the cart items in it, then I should be able to see them inside this item list, right? So let's do that. I'm going to put it below this console log, and then we can get rid of this when we're done. But essentially, I'm going to borrow this thing right here right um you know and actually you know what we can do we just copy that i'm gonna um let's get item string first and now if i set this equal to item string i'll only have one thing in there and every time i loop i'll replace everything here so what i want to do is i want to append so when i do plus equals it'll add something to the end of item string and then when we go around from the to the to do the loop again we'll add something to the end of the item string again right so we'll do plus equals and then i'll take this string right here and i've got this dash there i'm going to get rid of that but what i want to do is i want to have an li tag at the beginning and then have a closing li tag at the um at the end here like this okay so now I've got um, and don't forget this has to be the back quote right because we're using this special syntax with the dollar sign and the curly brackets right so our list item now should say the items name the items price with the dollar sign and then it'll say times the quantity of the items and then we'll have the um, the closing li here and then we'll append one of these to the end of this empty string. And then when we loop around to do the loop the second time, we'll append another one of these to what's already there. So we'll have one list item, and then we'll get a second list item, and a third and a fourth until we're done. And then we'll take all the list items in that string and set them as the inner HTML. And it will be as, as if we'd taken all of these and put them inside of, of here, right? Let's give it a try. So I'll refresh my page. Oh, look, and it says like apples, two, oranges, 129, opinions, one, right? And so that, that'll be great. We don't have to use this console anymore. We can just see our results in the page. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, let me give you a challenge right now to work on before the next video. But this looks pretty good. But what I'd like to see is I'd like to see apple... 99 cents times two and then equals and then what the total price would be so for this it would be a dollar 98 over here and then 129 times two equals and then it'd be like 2 uh 58 or whatever it is right okay and then over here two cents times one it would be equal two cents right so you can do that and you know all your work would be done over here hey and wh while we're at it maybe we don't need this console log anymore so i'll um I'll comment that out, right? And if you want another challenge, I'll give you another one. Uh, and we'll do all these in the next video. But this um, line right here where it says you have, you know, X quantity items in your cart. Um, what if we had another DOM element here with an ID and you set the inner HTML to this message? And then the same goes for the total at the bottom here. What if we had another element here so we had the the quantity up here actually i'll even comment that for you 
you know put the quantity here we need a tag though so you'll have to have some HTML tag here and then you'll put the total over here right so give that a try and see if you can solve those two problems so you'll display the quantity you'll list all the items like we just did and then you'll display the total at the bottom okay and then that will happen here and here okay so anyway give that a try and then we'll do it together in the next video thanks for watching